Hey there, everyone, this is Elkow playing Cave Story, and we're doing story mode, and we're going here, right, so, hey, how's it going, y'all, video games, uh, so, yeah, so we just did all the things in Grass Town, which, I don't know, man, maybe Bushland is a better, more accurate name, but, Bush Town is, Grass Town is fun to say. Right, they're gonna go and crash the thing. So I guess I could have taken my personal unit of jellyfish juice uh, on the way back. I kind of forgot about that. Feels like I forgot a lot about like some like the tiny little things. Rob, they go. They won't. Need, they're going the wrong way. There we go. Won't stop. Oh, good. Hey there, one's Cow Cow. Yeah, I'm playing Cave Story, the plus version. And, uh, so the next Path of Divergence, there are two things in Curly's house at the very start of Sand Zone. And then it goes all the way, and then we gotta wait until Labyrinth. So if I could finish, um, like if I could do the entirety of Sand Zone today, that would be good. That would make me pretty happy. Except, like, I don't know... Sand zone's kind of a thing, and I'm not going to, like, this is where the big first split happens, is I'm not going to have the machine gun. So, like, I don't know how it's going to go, basically, but I guess we're going to find out. Like I said, ideally, I can finish it, uh, just all today, but it's not a promise. Anyways, for now, I'm just here, just shooting everything that I can. At some point, I just kind of gave up. And I'm just moving forward. I mean, like, I've not really paying the price or anything. That bike, Kazuma was riding, looks like it had better days. Do you think it just crashed under this thing? It's like a little spiral wall thing? Because that does stop, like, enemies. Like, it stops sprites from being able to get involved with reality. And, uh, you know, I would understand it if it would also, if, if maybe the bike counts as an enemy. We're weapons of death! Hell yeah! Oh, but said with a somber look. <laughs> Stop pointing. He is pointing! His sprite is pointing! I did not know that he's just pointing at the back of King's head. <laughs> oh, we know where they are though. They're in that one thing place thing. But if, uh, finds it, that's right, filled with rage, uh, weapon of death, uh. Now we're here, check out it's me, no, that's not me, that's old man, I am not that scrunky. I don't know, I got nothing to say here. It's- we know what this is about. It's the door. It's the leader of the bunch and we know him well. Check it out, it's me, I'm the little robot guy. Thank you. Well, that's that's on you. All right, sounds great. You got any opinions, King? Why is he smiling? Or is that not supposed to be his mouth? The little like black crescent in the bottom of his face. Whoop! Little jump. Oh, that's taken care. Ooh, so that's a little reminder, actually, for when everything goes to poo. Question mark. Sue. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Oh, well, that's handy. Everyone's just kind of smiling vaguely. <laughs> that's right, he's gonna find it. In the sand. Okay, they didn't change sand zone. 
Sanzone? Dr. Sanzone? Trying to have skeletons and parrots. That's me, the protagonist. I get to do things. A scout bot. A robot! Was instead lost in a cave, like a fool. And luckily, he's a helpful type. Yeah, the more I look at this scene, the less I like that robot kid has a face. Like, beyond the two eyes. Maybe it's because, thanks to the Spot Zone, I've been exposed to a lot of the modern promo art of this game, and boy howdy does Nicholas do not know how to portray this little guy. Until you were just told. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I just jump. Sweet! Yeah, I don't- well, I do have a fireball, huh? That's probably why, actually. Alright, it all makes sense. It's a teleporter. We're going to the Crocomire. We're gonna give him a high five. And that'll solve all our problems. Welcome to Sand Zone. Yeah, I don't know if I can do all that today, but it's the hope. Hey, you. All right. <laughs> you just skedaddles. That's funny. Is it? It's not really. All right, so here we got Maverick Bugs. Oh, that. No, like, I love the bubbler. But it's not, like, a universally good weapon. Ooh, I don't know. I'm digging this remix. Yeah, let's just use a big block gun. Throw laser cubes everywhere. Um, here we go. So two big things are gonna happen here. Well, two things. I don't know if they're all gonna be big. I'm gonna keep my block gun. Hi. Hey. Hey! You look friendly. <laughs> There's something just so manic about that talk zone. Also, she can only talk over her shoulder. <laughs> Looking back. <laughs> Except she's clearly facing me on the sprite. Well, And you got a better gun than me! And yeah, it's, it's fine if I hurt the Mimiga. It's going to happen. Like, they're just... Whoa! Like, your gun has a clear wind-up sound that I feel like when I use it, it doesn't. Anyway, again, I feel bad for all the little critters. They just got absolutely destroyed. <laughs> they get in the way! Uh, no, I do not plan. I... I'm not gonna say that I plan on doing it. I just, I cannot get myself... They look very bunny-like here. Compared to, like, the regular Mimigas we're used to up to now. Hi, Curly Brace. Your name is a pun. Some people would not realize that. Anything from... I guess maybe you imprinted on them? Since, like, you woke up around by them? Oh! Yeah, it's pretty bad, uh, but we are not going to trade. That just kills me. I want to gunfly, and I'm not going to be able to, and UGH! Eat some tasty fish and do a cat sound. You must remove the curse. Oh, now you're just gonna always ask? Alright, that's your life now.
My life is asking about my gun. Sam Crocs! Bite you on bite bite zone bite. Sure, yes. Jenka! Thing. Go to her house. Should take the dog next to the bed. Look in the next room. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So. Do you want to bring him along? Hell yeah, I do. I was told, look at map. Ah. Ah. Look at map. Whoops. Oh, here's where you go up. Here you go. Then I can... You gotta... Oh, like here? There you go. Really? Sweet. Great. I'm so happy that I found this inside the wall. Uh, it's, here's Hajime though. Leader of the bunch, you know him well too. Likes Curly's place. Wait, how do I get out of here? Uh, I don't know. Okay, so I don't know how that is set up, but apparently I was able to like jump my way up, and I'm pretty sure that was possible. I mean, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty happy that was possible. I'm pretty sure it was possible considering I just experienced it. Now I believe that this version does not include puppy stacking. Uh, like the Switch version does, so I am going to have to... Uh, get all the puppies one at a time, like I was some kind of fool. I don't know, man. I'm I'm digging the muse, the, the remixes for the most part. I want that health though. Here we go. I got health. Uh, life capsule. There we go. More like. It doesn't say more like. It says max life. More like five more HP. Like it was a taunt gonna taunt you with extra life. Destroy the sun! Yeah, that's what life is all about. Destroying the sun. If you're not actively working on that, can you really call whatever it is you're doing right now living? I don't think so, honestly. And, uh, as a person on the internet, my opinion matters more than yours. Uh, so go out there and destroy the sun. That's all I'm asking. It's such a small favor. Alright, and we're gonna take the puppy road, call as such. Because there's a puppy paw. No? I tend to associate paws more with uh, cats, but maybe that's because I'm more of a cat person. Eh, get up there, and you get the midway save. There you go. Go and tr Okay, and I think there's like health pickups here that you can make up here too. If you're into that kind of thing, not judging if you are, but you know. Oh, that hurt a lot. Uh-oh, and here I'm messing it up a little bit. Look, there's gonna be a boss fight soon. If you could give me triangles, but oh, but there's health there. So the health aspect doesn't matter too much. But I would need to power back up though, all right. Or I guess I'm gonna fight the boss using uh, another weapon then. Uh. Oh boy, that's embarrassing. You know, sometimes you just make a mistake and then you're like, Oh boy, okay, how, how am I dealing with this now? And uh, that's the rest of your life that's dealing with it, I guess. That's kind of messed up. Not something to brag about. Hey, everything's refilled though. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to destroy all y'all. So what am I gonna use? Maybe Fireball's gonna be good? I don't know, let's find out. Hey, it's our old pal Omega. You sure did. Hey, Misery. Thank you. I have a dog on my head. I would, but that's for later in the game. Bye. Hey, it's our old pal, the ant lion. Wow, you do not like Fireball, huh? Like, that is... 
absolutely ridiculous the amount of damage that I'm allowed to do to you here. Okay, well, that was all like at the start of the fight before the fight properly started. Is Fireball just like really strong? Like, I think that's the lesson here is that Fireball is just completely ridiculous. <laughs> like, what the hell? Hey, Curse of the Sun's out. Machine monsters, the Chief I just got. Wow. And dog is dialing. Uh, uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's what we're saying. See, it's a joke. Because that's a sex thing. You get it? It's what we think about when we think cave story. <laughs> oh, it's fine. Whatever. Hey, check it out. I'm over here doing over here things. Whoops. That was a mistake. I'm still alive, though. But my gun is puny and sad. Yeah, no. I, I didn't think that moved through. I need triangles. Y'all gotta give me more triangles, okay? You have to. I guess you're not going to. Alright, you know what? I'll get more triangles later then, if you're gonna be that way. Because this is just a smart thing to do. Might as well save again. I just save again. Yeah, and then I just kinda make my way back. It's, uh... Like, you don't go into any screen transitions or anything, so whatever you leave the realm in, that's the state it's gonna be when you backtrack. Hey, thank you for the help. See, there was a, a smart aspect of of uh, leaving some enemies behind. Gets a chance to heal up, if needed. And oddly enough, I don't need it because of the boss. <laughs> that's a sad thing. Hey, open up, Curse of the Sun! We don't care about- Alright, I'm gonna- I'm gonna chat, you know? We're gonna do the test. Can I pick a extra pupper? If I go here where I know a dong lives in a chest. Also, there's health here. I forgot there was health here. I feel like if there's one thing I don't remember about this game is where health is. Oh my gosh, it's a dog! I ain't got enough heads! Just do not have enough heads. There's just something so friendly about this take on the theme. I like it. I'm gonna shoot Croc Mars' head. Oh, except I did not manage to do that. Yeah, um... Level 1 Polar Star is not impressive to anyone. If you have triangles to spare, though, I mean, that's already going to be a little bit better. I know there's hearts in those cubes. Are there triangles, though? I don't think so, right? Yeah, no, it's all hearts. Missiles, too, if you're into that. A little into that. Don't by the door. It's pretty great. Oh, check it out. It's a house over the portal. I came to get here. Hey, lady. Oh, oh, that's your dog! Gave her the dog! Thank you. What?! <laughs> wow, you do just say, oh yeah, all the time, huh? That's so weird. It's supposed to be Doria! You know, it's like a big, loud, spirited yell. Oh yeah is not inaccurate. Wow, just... Misery, living with abuse all the time. Do you think Misery's a name she gave herself, or did Jenka name her Misery? Because that's a name you, I guess, you shouldn't give your child. <laughs> yeah, new master has appeared. A new person is wearing the crown. Oh no, they know! Huh. Man, the way the music just cuts off. That, is, that was aggressive. Four more dogs, huh? Little pups, huh? 
very weak. Hmm. I'm gonna do that. That's right, in spite of knowing what the world awaits me. Arf! That's what happens if you talk to dog. Alright, well, let's go ahead and do some that. Do some that. Yeah, so now, again, things are gonna be slightly different because I feel like already at this stage of the game, I got addicted to the flying properties east of, uh, of Mr. Machine Gun. And uh, now I don't, so I'm gonna have to redo the platforming every time. Destroy bird. Uh, whoa. Alright, that's pretty okay. It's a big old parrot. Like, they are just parrots. Alright, you can shoot bones. It's pretty good. Destroy the world one bit at a time. Where am I going? I don't know. I guess we're going up there. There we go, just kinda got stuck a little bit. Vote to get out the dunk just to ran away. Hey look, if you look at the map, you see how it looks like whoa. If you look at the map, it tells you exactly how things are shaped. It's pretty great. It's pretty great. It's pretty grating more like it. Uh okay, so you go here. Here you miss. Like, okay, so from here I do a big jump, get here, he goes wah, 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 woof, woof, woof. See, those are different ways to describe barking. Then you see here he has his own stat, it's Shinobu. Lovable. Ah, uh, I, does that make sense? You know, all the tails were there. But does that make sense to seek out dark places? Oh yeah, I need to get that gun up there. Well, I mean, maybe. Um, like, if your bad vision is because, like, you, you get blinded easily, I guess that can be a thing. It's time for lore! I'm fast. No, well, I don't... Do we know his name yet? Were we told his name in the credit? I forget. It's certainly one of your dogs. <laughs> That's what they say. Yeah, so I understand why she wouldn't be keen on destroying the red flowers. Like, that does make sense, because, you know, it's like... If a new invader comes to the island, like, you don't want to just leave them defenseless, right? I'm seeing the logic. Just wanna heal real quick. I guess I'm gonna keep chest puppy for last. Now there's gonna be, like, the puppy in the sand. Might as well do that one. Stick to the bottom. Shoot an armadillo in the face. Keep running. Yeah, you got all these guys everywhere. It doesn't matter though. Whoa, bones. Wow. Great aim there, lame -o. Here's, you know, all the skeletons in the universe exist here. It's pretty great. I'm gonna get that puppy. Yeah, that's right. I got ya. You can't run away from me. It's Kakadu. Best with a bone. Ah, I see. I don't have any bones. I uh, have probably metal bones. Are you interested in that little dog? Uh, missiles. Well, check it out. I got a dog with me. Unbelievable. Gave her the dog. The dog is hers. I have. I've killed a few. <laughs> Even at this stage of the game. I. To be fair, it's accurate. <laughs> I wonder what the like, like how they evolved for that to happen. Like it's a very, very specific combination between the red flower and the mimiga, both of which come from this like floating island. 
But then again, like, is the floating island, like, artificial, but, like, from, like, further way around? Like, because it needs a core to fly. Like, it doesn't fly on its own, it is made to fly. So I wouldn't be surprised if the Mimiga and the Red Flowers were, like, built on purpose. Like, at some point far in the past. Made it down to the server. Get it! Oh yeah, I get it. And that's why uh, some people want to burn them up. Like, that is precisely why. And yet, and yet, but the Mimiga, you know, if they have to defend themselves, because they won't otherwise. Uh, well, I get it. You know, they're peaceful. Bunch. Living on their own, eating flowers and possibly fish. Considering there's a fishing Mimiga, unless he's just fishing for fun, it's, it's possible. But then that's just me, you know? You know, like, sports fishing, it's like, ah, uh, you know, like, I understand why that exists. I just think it's mean to the fish. Like, some people are like, well, you fish, well, you know, it's fish. Like, you got some people out there who genuinely think that, like, sea life isn't, like, alive alive, which... Gross. Also weird. Wow, yeah, I don't got a machine gun, so, mm, I might be able to make that, but I don't think I will. So I have to redo all this again. Yeah, see, here is the real weight of that. Great English. Okay, well, at least I can go up here. So, yeah, now I have to master the floaty jumps into... I, I backed up. I backed up because I thought I was going to overjump. And I did not overjump. The opposite happened. Well, not... I didn't overjump, basically. Here we go. If you see me play Mario, I over-adjust jumps constantly. And yeah, here I won't be able to use a shortcut. Whoa, wow, we whoa, wow, well, I just kind of screwed that up, and that's, yeah, honestly, that's what happened to... Yeah, so, so, I mean, I can still, ooh, can I do, I can totally slip in there. I mean, it'd help if I jump. It would help. Eh, you know what, I'm not gonna do it. I get the feeling that was designed more of as a way back. Well, Skeleton Lord is not scaring me. Maybe I should be, though. Because, like, he kind of removed a lot of health from me, and I'm just kind of sitting there taking it. No, honestly, Raukau, what were you doing? I might die now because of my complete inaction? I mean, if it happens, it happens. Like, I got only myself to blame. Oh, wow, good job, Lao Cal, you're the best. Controls are a bit better than the original, but they're still a little floaty. Man, these things just do not die. But if you shoot them, they fall, that's pretty fun. Is it? That's kind of a sociopathic thing to say. I'm just gonna sit here and shoot. Maybe this is a zone for the bubbler. Honestly, yeah, because like, you just do that and then you charge it up. It's just like the bullets go just so much further. And you know, that is exactly what I want here. Yeah, yeah. So the big difference with not having the machine gun is that I think I'm just not gonna have a weapon that's good for everything. Which is not a bad thing, you know. It's good to be forced to change it up a little bit sometimes. Oh wow, and here I actually have to do this platforming on this boxes. That's cute. Look at that. Puppy, you're sleeping. I do want to bring him along. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to... It's Nene. When dreams the days away. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and get the other puppy back, the Jenka, and then we're gonna stop so that next time I can redo this platforming and it doesn't feel as ridiculous. Just do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Ah, uh, uh, honestly, no. I think I should just finish. Finish Sand Zone and uh, the start of Labyrinth. Puppy delivery! 
I am the popular one. That was weirdly said. <laughs> hey. Yep. That's right. Indeed. Okay. Oh yeah, I get it. One, two, three, and four. Only one more. Dogs to gore. Uh, I want it to rhyme, but instead it sounded disgusting. Oh, check it out, a chest in the middle of nowhere. Open it up and it's a dog! Look at that cute little dog face. And if you look at his stats, it's Spike, Mick! Loves to be inside any chest he can find. Who doesn't? Oh my gosh, it's a scene of violence! Uh, good thing you just exclaimed that loudly for no reason. Where'd all the dogs- I'm assuming the dogs are in the pots and are doing great. Here's Mick, by the way. You can have him. Hey, here you go. The key! The key to the warehouse was stolen by Balrog! Unleash rabid Mimiga, possessed by the red flower against the surface! And you give me a life pot. Which canonically, uh, I've never used. Like, I've used it in game overruns. Uh, in my final run, I never used it. Just once. I was hoping that, you know, you press the button next to a thing and then a dog would pop up. Well, like, check it out, it's me, I'm Happy Dog. Yeah, let's just finish this. It might be a longer video, it might already be a little bit too long. Doesn't matter. We want to get to the heart, that gets heart, sweat, heart, video games. I did not play that very good. <laughs> Things could have gone a little bit better. That's okay though. Oh yeah, you can't use that there. Alright, that's fine. Here we heal. Did I heal? Well, now I did for sure. I will save. Alright, it's boss fight time right here. Oh yeah, with another cutscene. It's still, by far, the most absurd part of the game, I feel like. You have to do all the platforming to get the last puppy, and then you have to double back, and then you have to do all the platforming to get to the storehouse. It's so weird, like, it does not make sense in terms of, like, game design. Because nothing is different. Oh, like, this time she asked him to eat, and not, she does not propose to eat one herself. Slight translation difference. Hey, how's it going, ooh? Wow. No, oh, yeah, she's just being tormented here.
King slides that man in the face. Oh, Rise of Red. Uh, too late. Smile looks so dumb. <laughs> Indeed, <laughs> I am the doctor. Like that's that's the only way I can. That's what he sounds like in my brain. I don't know how he got a doctorate. <laughs> oh well, that worked. Thanks for telling that out loud, Doctor. Thanks. Oh, well, I revoked that thanks. Yeah, now it's like Boss Taroko. Well, oh, right! You, you chunk out like massive blocks. Oh, why, did, why did I take damage? Oh, the flowers are real, right? Well, not not real, but they're they hurt. There we go. Don't get. Why jump into that? Okay, I'm. Why am I jumping directly into them? I don't know. Like that. That is on me. That is me. Um. There I was pressing the tag button. It was not doing. I am tr having, tr having trouble, like, spotting... Alright, I'm probably gonna die this one, actually. Honestly. Uh, just... Out of sheer... Badness. Like, I just... I'm having issues, like, spotting the flowers. And I literally jump into a few squares, which, you know... Wasn't helpful. I don't know why you there, you... Question mark, though. I mean, I might peek out something, but that's going to be thanks to just hearts being everywhere. Yeah, that is a thing. That is real. I forget how I fought you originally when I played this for the first time. Like, what weapon I used? I don't know. Well, I seem to have reclaimed control a little bit. Ugh. Yeah, you aren't giving missiles. Maybe... Really? Maybe I was supposed to use missiles. It's possible. I remember ending with not a lot of hell, though. So... That might remain consistent. I don't know. But, yeah, I felt like I did not deserve that win. I was very sloppy and made... Very weird judgment calls. But hey, Rabbit Taroko. No victory. That's on purpose. Hey, King. Give me your sword. <laughs> wow, that is like really quick. Uh, I feel like game people here like to talk a little bit. That scene where uh, King gives you his blade is very fast. Uh, and he oh yes again, lands on my side. He doesn't even fully smush me. You misaimed, you fool! Uh, Here we go. That's where the game gets interesting. Man, she's so happy though. <laughs> Hit the ground floor. All right. And yeah, I'm doing kind of real bad right now. But uh, there's enemies to kill. They'll give me triangles and hearts, I'm sure. But yeah, next time. Uh, I forget how long the labyrinth is. Maybe we won't get to the. Maybe we'll end on a major split. I'm not sure. Well, we'll see how things pan out. <laughs>